shit all on my own. Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial for super smooth slow motion in, and how to do that in Premiere Pro. A lot of the people like whenever they see my edits when I do for shave FPS or on my own edits they ask me how I do these super smooth so clean looking uh, slow motion so here's a tutorial for that today and before we continue I just want to point out one thing that I'm from India so my accent might be a little heavy for someone or it might be a little tough for somebody to understand I mean please don't make fun of me if you do make fun of me <laughs> just go ahead and do it have fun it's fine okay so yeah let's just start with the tutorial and I'll show you how I actually do my own slow motions and how do I actually get them to like look very super smooth without getting any artifacts or any breaking in the video so let's just jump into the video all right let's begin with the tutorial and before we begin with the tutorial i would like to tell you guys that there are timestamps given in the description so you guys can use the timestamps to see exactly what you want to see and uh, there are two methods which you can use to create super smooth slow motion in premiere pro and this is the first method which we are talking about right now it's called the optical flow method right so let's begin with the first method and uh, let me just simply clean my timeline so this was the video which i created in the intro that part and let me just import another clip from my project file into the timeline so i imported another clip it is from a different game called apex legends and uh, this clip is recorded at 1080p resolution in 60 frames per second right so nothing too fancy in the clip apart from me shooting that guy over there in the air right so perfect example to show like you know how to showcase slow motion see in order to reduce the speed of the clip what you can simply do is uh, right click on the video right and this is the basic and the most simple method to do right click on your video layer go to speed and duration and from there you can change the speed over there you get the option so let's say if I increase the speed to 150 percent so the video will be like you know I played back at 150 speed, percent speed right and if I go to speed and duration again and if I reduce the speed down to let's say 50 percent so now the video will play back at 50 percent speed right but that's not what we are here for right we are here to learn how to do slow motion for specific parts for for example let me just put it back back to original speed right so let's say i want to do slow motion for let's say i shoot the guy in the air over here and i want to create slow motion while he's falling in the air like that kind of like that right so in order to achieve that what you do is now select your video layer hold alt on your keyboard and simply drag up this layer to duplicate your video right and you can right click and um, unlink the video from the audio if you don't want it to mess around right so or you can simply mute the audio so that you first focus on creating your own uh, slow motion sorry about that I forgot the word right so now what you do is oh yeah one more thing your video layer would be looking like this kind of like this so once you duplicate it so once you duplicate it uh, just simply increase this uh, size of the video to layer so that you can see what you are actually working with and now you'll realize why this is important is because what you do is go to right click on this second video layer which you just duplicated go to show clip, uh, clip keyframes time remapping and from there enable speed remapping in your video layer too right so now you have created a speed timeline on your video layer too so if you manipulate this timeline so let's say if you hold the timeline with your left mouse click and pull it upwards so it's gonna increase the speed like this of the video let's say I put it to 200% the whole video will be at 200% and if I select the timeline uh, speed timeline and hold the hold it and pull it down the pull my mouse downwards so it's gonna reduce the speed like this so if I put it down to 10% so it's gonna reduce this reduce the speed of this video layer to 10% right so let's say I want to do slow motion for this specific part of the video right while I shoot that guy and he's uh, like you know falling down in the air kind of like this right so what you can do is you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard left arrow key and right arrow key to move one frame backwards and one frame forward like you know to skip between frames or move between frames in the video to be more precise right now because all you need 
right now is precision because if you are not precise enough with your clip uh, right now uh, your slow motion will get messed up and it will not look super smooth or super clean at all and then you will be confused and you will like you know <clears throat> you'll just not like the what you're doing right now then um, so now I say let's say I select this part from here I want to start the slow motion so what I'll do is I'll simply zoom into the uh, video timeline and I'll uh, press control on my keyboard and do a left click on my video layer 2 to create a keyframe like this and then I go forward and let's I go forward how many frames is that uh, one two three four let's say I go forward four frames and I'll again create another keyframe on my video layer 2 and now when I pull down I'll select the speed timeline in between these keyframes and I'll pull it down so that I can reduce the speed so let's say I want to reduce the speed down to 2% now so this part of the video is gonna be played back at 2% speed and rest will be played back at 100% speed as you can see because the speed timeline is at 100% for those clips right as you can see over here sorry about that right so let me just play it back for you right now to see what we have actually done so far <clears throat> so as you can see the video is kind of stuck over here because um, uh, the video is playing back at 2% speed so it would be like around 4 four frames per second no 12 frames like I don't know exactly like it will be very less like 1 or 2 frames per second that's why the video is stuck over here like this kind of like that right so in order to make how to make it super smooth slow motion in order to do that all you have to do is simply once you have created your slow motion like that right click on your video 2 layer go to speed and duration again and from there go to time interpolation and select optical flow and that's it just select optical flow and if you play it back right now you'll still see that the video is still laggy it's choppy and it's not super smooth and in order to make it super smooth all you have to do is go to sequence from here and select render effects into out or you can simply press enter on your keyboard and it will start rendering all the effects in your timeline So we'll just wait for this to end and it's done now and as you can see now right let's just see what has happened in the video and as you can see let me just go into full screen to show you guys exactly you, as you see this is how we have created the super smooth slow motion for a video so that's how you can create super smooth slow motion using optical flow right so and in order to make it even more uh, like you know much more smooth what we can do is simply go into your timeline select the keyframe like and just simply pull it to the left side or the right side accordingly so as you can see when you're pulling it to the left side it will show on the screen that from which part the slow motion will start and from which part it will actually start happening to right so once you pull it uh, just make a little bit of a uh, speed curve in the middle like that what that's what we all say i think speed curve right and what you can do is um, simply just select this like you know click on this line and bend it like this so that it becomes a little smooth in the middle and we'll do this same thing again just you can just simply you know left left click on the key uh, keyframe and just pull it on in the front and again we're gonna smooth it out a bit again and now <clears throat> I'm gonna render the whole clip again because if I play it back right now it's gonna look choppy and laggy at the same time it won't be smooth right so and once we see like you know now you can see in the playback that when the slow motion happens it's a little smoother as you can see like this like the 
when it is going from fast motion to slow motion like this it's a little smoother and when it again resumes back to uh, full speed it's still smooth right so i mean that's how you can like you know that's the first method of uh, creating slow motion using optical all right let's begin with the second method and the second method with which you can create super smooth slow motion is using twixter uh, Twixter is a paid plugin so if you don't have Twixter so you can still use optical flow optical flow works as good as Twixter but like you know Twixter is a paid plugin so it's a little more cleaner and a little more smoother than optical flow but if you don't have Twixter then optical flow is also fine right and uh, there are just only a couple of extra steps which you have to do before you start working with Twixter but apart from that all these steps which you're gonna see now for Twixter is completely identical to the one which we did for optical flow right so let me just import the same clip again in like you know a little ahead in the timeline of the video like right over here and uh, again I'll do the same thing so I'll just simply duplicate this layer again while holding alt on my keyboard and pulling the video layer upwards right and now before I do anything what I'll do is I'll select my video layer 2 go to nest and create a nested sequence over there right and I created a nested sequence of this video layer and now what I'll do I'll search for Twixter in my effects and presets tab and I'll pull Twixter and I'll pull it on top of this like you know uh, it will apply again right so I have applied Twixter to my nested sequence now so now once you have done these two things the rest of the steps are gonna be the same as we did for optical flows so just simply right click go to uh, time remapping and show speed timeline over here right and let me just turn off Twixter because it's a little heavy on the GPU I'll again create a keyframe by holding control on my keyboard and left clicking on the nested sequence uh, right I'll cre create one keyframe over there and I think we went fused four frames in the middle so one two three four frames again and I'll zoom in and oh yeah by the way if you think like sometimes it's a little blurry that's because the playback resolution is set to one by fourth like you know quarter of the playbacks uh, like full resolution so that when I'm working it does not lag for me right so let me just put it back to full resolution right so I think this was um, these are the parts wherein we created the keyframes earlier as well and I'll just simply again reduce the speed down to I think we reduce the speed down to 2% yeah I think that's what we did and I'll again simply uh, try to smooth out the speed timeline in bet between by creating a speed curve for like you know before the slow motion starts and after the slow motion kind of ends like this right so that's what I did like this and now I'll simply enable Twixter again on the clip and if I play it back so the advantage which you get with Twixter is that you can see the playback like this when you do the playback you can see the slow motion exactly what's happening like this as you can see right even though the video is not the effect is not rendered out completely but you can still see what you're actually gonna get while using Twixter right so I'll just simply render this part as well of the video okay so now we are done with the Twixter part as well and now I'm gonna play it back in my timeline to see the Twixter part so this is the Twixter part so this is how the slow motion looks with Twixter and this is the optical flow part So if I do a little side by side for both of them, let me just put them together and I'll put it in full screen. So this is the one with optical flow, the slow motion and this is the one with Twixter. The Twixter one looks a little more cleaner and a little more smoother than the optical flow one. Well that's because it's a play plugin as well, right? But that's it, that's the second method which you can Alright now that you guys have learned the two methods of super smooth slow motion 
and how to do that so now in this part I'm just gonna simply go with the miscellaneous issues which you sometimes get while creating these slow motions so sometimes let's let's just uh, replay this twixter part again and as you can see like you know sometimes what happens is that because uh, you're using twixture and optical flow in the whole clip so sometimes when the video is like as you can see do you see these artifacts that's that are happening in middle and you would see them happening a lot even if uh, even with the optical flow the artifacts happen a lot it might not be happening for this video but yeah there are moments wherein you know the artifacts are still there in optical flow as well right so in order to get rid of those artifacts which you're getting at that time what you can do is there's a very simple workaround and what you can do is simply duplicate this layer again which you on which you just created your speed remapping just duplicate the layer again come up to the part wherein like you know the speed remapping is about to happen like somewhere around here and press c in your keyboard to turn on the razor tool or you can just simply select your uh, video layer 3 over there and press ctrl k to create a cut over there in the video and then again you go forward over here like when the slow motion is ending and again create a cut and you can reduce remove these other parts from the video like that right just delete the excess parts over there and you can come back to your original clip and turn it to uh, frame sampling and that's how you can create the smooth slow motion without getting artifacts on the uh, on the video the complete video itself right so the same thing can be done with twixture so what you do is just simply duplicate the twixture again then come up over here like this and as the twixture is about to start I'll simply create a cut over here when the twixture ends again I'll create a cut I'll get rid of these parts and I'll turn out twixture on the below part and I'll I'll keep the twixture turned on the ab above part and I'll just simply render it out and once you have done that spoke too soon I guess <laughs> alright so once you have done that so as you can see the artifacts won't be there the ones which we just got earlier the artifacts are not there you see right and when you do the slow motion it's still there Right, so this is one way with which like you know very easy workaround to get rid of the artifacts and sometimes if you're using RSMB with optical flow RSMB does not work on optical flow clips clips so the solution is pretty simple just simply don't use the RSMB on the parts where you have applied the optical flow with uh, slow motion that's it so just ignore like you know remove the uh, RSMB from those parts of the video and that's it you're done uh, RSMB does not give any issue while you working with Twixter but sometimes it gives uh, issues while working with optical flow so yeah that's it guys so I hope you guys like this video a lot and if you still want to learn more about slow motion I can do one more video wherein I'll explain why I did the specific only these parts of the video to create slow motion the super smooth slow motion the concept of slow motion how it actually works and what you need to do in order to master slow motion if you guys really would like me to create you know another tutorial uh, similar to this so you guys can let me know in the comments and I really hope that if you guys really like the video, I usually never do this, but if you really like the video, thumbs up would be appreciated a lot. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and see you guys pretty soon in the next one.